Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome General Hugh Shelton. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, it's uh, that John Stewart's a hard act to follow. But let me welcome you on behalf of the Board of Directors and, and your great management team here to the most significant, the greatest event in technology in, of the industry, right here at the Red Hat Summit. Welcome to you. I'm delighted to be here with you. How many of you in here know what the word summit means? I wasn't sure I did, you know, I was an infantry officer, so the other day, just for grins, I right-clicked on it and I looked at it, and I was disappointed. It said, meeting. <laughs> well, certainly we were at a meeting, but then I went on and saw it also said what I envisioned, the pinnacle, the top, the peak, and that's what it's all about. But we're not there yet. You know, as an infantry officer, I learned a long time ago that the defender has the advantage if they're on the high ground. If they occupy the pinnacle or the peak, they have been, they're in the demanding position, so to speak. And so when you're on the offense, you spend all of your time figuring out how you're going to get to the peak, how you're going to reach the summit. And there's an old phrase that goes, we'll meet you on the high ground. And it it's kind of a camaraderie thing among infantry officers. I'll see you on the high ground. And I would say to all of you here today, we are, we are doing gangbusters. This open source community is doing a splendid job. But let's always say to one another, we'll see you on the high ground, because we're not there yet, and we won't be until we've eliminated some of our most fiercest competitors. Yes, yes, we are here to win. Now, you know, I, some of you probably expect me to spend time today talking about virtualization, about the cloud. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a fan of Winston Churchill, and I've always followed the sage advice I once heard him give. And that was, never try to kiss a lady that's leaning away from you, <laughs> and never talk to an audience that knows more about the subject than you do. <laughs> and on top of that, when I was informed that I would be uh, spending a few minutes with you today, I immediately wanted to know that big question every speaker has, well, how much time do I have? So I called Lee Day in corporate communications. I said, Lee, I've agreed to speak. How much time do I have? She said, well, as chairman of the board, General, you have all the time that you want. <laughs> Very tactful, I thought, on Lee's part. But then she said, but I'm going to send you a, an essay written by a third grader about Julius Caesar. You read the third grader's essay, and then you determine how much time you, you need. So she sent me the third grader's essay, and I read it, and it went like this. Julius Caesar was a general. Julius Caesar lived a long time ago. Julius Caesar gave long speeches. <laughs> they killed him. Well, I don't want to join the ranks of Julius Caesar, and I don't want to join the ranks of Osama bin Laden. And so, hey, let's hear it, yeah. Those special ops guys, they did a great job, tremendous job, that's just part of, yeah, let's give them a big round of applause, they deserve it. You know, I first heard about open source and the Linux system in 1994, when some of you in this room were still either playing with Barbie dolls or, or Legos, I was on a ship. I was floating around out off the coast of Haiti. I had a, a joint task force, United States Joint Task Force under my command, that was en route to, to reestablish democracy in Haiti. We were going to take out the uh, General Cedrus and the, and the puppet government that he had put in place, President Joseph Sant and bring President Aristide, the democratically elected president, back into the country. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, it was all flowing very well, but then I got a request that literally came from the White House. They wanted me to provide a bunch of information that they needed for their press briefings, and they wanted it in a specific format. So I told my guys, my great guys in J3, I said, put it in this format. 
Well, they came back in about an hour and said, we, we, can't, we can't give it to you in that format. I said, what do you mean you can't give it to me in that format? They said, well, we, the software we've got won't allow us to do that. I said, well, contact the maker of the software. Let's see if we can't get some help and get it the way they want it. Well, at four the next morning, I walked back into the command center, and they, they're there, and they said, we contacted this company, and they won't change the software. But never fear, we've got a really smart guy, happened to be a, an Air Force guy on our team, one of our IT guys, said, and, and he knows about a system called Linux, open source. And overnight, he's got it exactly the way the White House wants it. I said, get out of here. I don't know what this stuff is, but I want to know more about it. And that's how my first contact with open source and Linux. It allowed us to do what we needed to do to meet a requirement. And I said, that's something. That, and so for the next four years, after I became the chairman, I spent all my time trying to get our J6 to move as fast as he could to move us into this, this system, into the Red Hat system, into a Linux system, into open source, because I'm a great believer in it. So when I was asked uh, in 2002 if I would consider joining Red Hat, I jumped at the opportunity because I said, I'd like to join the army that is developing, the open source army, if you will, that is going to march in a very across a very fierce battlefield and fight and win because it's the right thing to do. That's Red Hat, that's open source. Now, when I joined Red Hat in 2002, as that great CTO Brian Stevens said in an article he wrote not long ago, you know, Red Hat only had about 50 engineers. Today, we've got over 1,000 engineers. We've got a great leadership team from top to bottom. We've got great associates, some of the top we're going to recognize tonight in what I call the People's Choice Award because it is you, the Red Hat, the peers of these individuals that voted them as best in their field. And that's terrific. But it's pulling together this team, if you will, to march up the slope toward the high ground, to the summit, to win. You do a great job. I can't tell you how much. And as we work in this open source community, we all know it's about sharing. It's about sharing ideas. It's about, about sharing uh, the effort, if you will, it's about our contributions in any way, shape, or form that we can that helps pro us progress. And so my words to you today on behalf of the board of directors are thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the great job that you are doing day in and day out. God bless you, and it's great to be with you here today. Take care. Thank you.